Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to assign numbers to our data records. Other than a few exceptions such as functional locations, it is necessary to adopt a similar approach to number assignment for all objects in SAP system. The two options that we have in number assignments are to have the system assign a unique number or to have the user manually assign the numbers. SAP gives us the capability of assigning internal and external numbers. This is where similar objects can be grouped together and given an internal and external number range. We shall see how this works in the following illustration. To customize number ranges, we go to SPRO, then to IMG, then to Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Master Data in Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Technical Objects, Equipment, then to Equipment Categories, and finally to define number ranges. So we open that and then we go to groups and this is an overview of groups that are already in the system. This is a group that I created. We're gonna open it to see how number ranges are assigned. So this is our name here. That will be the name of the group and this is where you're going to put your number range. So we're going to go back and see how we create a new group. We go to groups, then create. You give your group a name, then you enter your number ranges here. So that is how we create a group. So one more thing that we need to do here is to assign these elements to our group. Right now I have A under BRI, so I want to bring in X or Z, for example. So make sure I highlight it and then go to element slash group then I can I can select BRI and now we have A and Z under this group before adding this video it is important to mention that number assignment as we have just seen are required for the following maintenance objects equipment which we have done here we need it for object links serial numbers material numbers notifications orders measuring points and counters master warranties task lists and maintenance plans. So all of those need number assignment. So I'm going to run a quick example of here we have equipment that is what we have been working with. I'm going to show you how to do notification. So I'll go back to my old regional screen and here I am so instead of going all the way going to SPRO IMG and all that I have the transaction code for notification which is IW20 so it will get get us to the same point it's a shorter way of getting there but usually I like going the longer way so that you can see how that structure how everything is structured as you get to your transaction code. 
so up here we have range management maintenance for notification and again we go ahead and select group and we have the first group is assigned elements then we have maintenance notifications all these are maintenance related notifications and just like we did before again actually we need to see what is the number range in each of them so that is our range for our maintenance notifications if we go back we can assign if we want to move E1 to this area here which I believe we would not want to do we still go through this process that I showed you earlier of figuring out where which group you wanted to go to and then clicking on it so that is how we define or we configure our number ranges and we are going now to move to the next video where we look at warranties and we are going to find out how to assign them to technical objects so thank you for watching and see you in the next video